did Charlie take to Mark? For me, it was an honor, a privilege to make this book, to what is a slave, into a film. Fantastic. It read like a very sort of dark fairy tale, in a way. But it's an absolutely true story. If justice had been done, I never would have been here. At the time, I thought to myself, this is like the Anne Frank book of America. Days ago, I was with my family in my home. Now you tell me all this loss. Steve is a unique individual with a unique vision. The whole scene's been about him from time one. He comes from the world of art where there are no limitations. It's all about truth and bravery. He comes into feature filmmaking with none of the conventions and none of the restrictions that a lot of filmmakers feel imposed upon them. Ah, honey. Steve both knows exactly the kinds of things that he wants, but at the same time is not beholden to any one idea or any one thought or any one particular way to do things. He has an absolutely open mind and is totally fearless when it comes to ideas, particularly visual ideas. Steve had a very clear vision about how certain things were supposed to be and there were certain emotional elements that he knew he wanted. I want to tell a story about slavery. My ancestors were slaves. Um, they're from the Caribbean, and I wanted to find an interesting angle into the narrative. I like the idea of it starting with someone who is a free man, dragged into slavery by kidnapping. My name is Solomon North. I'm a free man. He has such faith in the narrative and the characters and in human behavior, and such faith in the fireworks that just come out of real life. There's an authenticity to that, which is fantastic. And I think it, it not only informs you know, the cinematography, but also the actors as well. Just looking at the dailies, every frame, you're just like, you, know, you can't believe it. The shots that Steve puts together with Sean, it really is like a painting. Steve McQueen is such an incredible artist. He manages to tell these really hard stories. He's very open as a director, and he lets you run with it. He gives you the room to figure it out on your own, and then steers you if you need it. Steve's just very good with human beings, I think, and understands human behavior and has a curiosity in it for sure, and uh, approaches it in a non-judgmental way. And he's passionate about what he's doing. He's just a very inspirational person to be around. What you enjoy in an audience, you enjoy as an actor as well, because there's a real purity of purpose between the performance space and the camera. It really brings you into the moment. And that's what Steve's trying to capture. And often he allows things to breathe. It doesn't mean to say that it's ever slow, because it's not. There's a tension which is very, very carefully managed. And there are many uh, examples where a shot is held long, and I believe it just gives the audience time to really feel things. I think shooting it that way, pointing out the complicity of the people around the situation, he charges you with complicity as well. Bear witness, for real. He doesn't want you to forget it. Working with somebody that I admire so hugely was a treat. The whole thing has just felt like a kind of projected fantasy, you know, like I dreamed that I worked with Steve and made this film. It was a really great experience. This is not an African-American film. This is an American story. And slavery is a part of the history of America. Well, I was a free man. I'm not a slave. I don't want to survive. I want to live. <laughs>